dangerous health scare in the air when a passenger flying from Austin to Phoenix was discovered to have a highly contagious and potentially deadly health condition only after the flight took off. ABC's Jim Avila is at Reagan National Airport with the latest. Good morning, Jim. Well, good morning, George. And you can add this to the list of things you don't want to hear from the pilot on your next flight. Passengers upon deplaning, please seek a tuberculosis test. Everything seemed normal as U.S. Airways Express Flight 2846 took off Saturday afternoon from Austin, Texas. But once in the air, a frightening development. The TSA notifying the airline that a passenger on board had just been put on the no-fly list because of a medical condition. The rest of the 74 passengers and crew members potentially at risk. We spoke to one of those passengers overnight. As we were taxiing, a uh, stewardess came down the aisle. She had a mask, and she instructed this gentleman to put the mask on. This morning, it's believed that the condition was tuberculosis, though U.S. Airways won't confirm. The warning that came from the CDC did not occur until after the flight had departed. So the passenger did not have a, um, a red flag in their reservation system or any warning there. When the plane landed in Phoenix two hours later, paramedics and police swarmed. Passengers were told to get a TB test and follow up with the CDC. The fireman said he has tuberculosis, he's contagious, you must see your physicians immediately, and you must be tested in three months' time. TB is a bacterial infection of the lungs that is contagious and sometimes deadly. But the CDC says even if it was TB, exposure to other passengers would be unlikely. So now the big question remains why the CDC didn't warn TSA before the suspect passenger got on the plane. We hope to find out more about that today. George? Okay, Jim, thanks very much.